But uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, his ancestors, uh, descendants, uh, where he lived, uh, his Revolutionary War experience, a little bit about that, and some things about his life and his impact. But before I do that, uh, I want to thank a couple of people uh, that helped me with this message. Uh, Diane Austin provided a lot of material for this message, and uh, I'm going to go through some posters, and Connie Austin provided those posters for me. And, uh, but I uh, want to say thank you, Diane and Connie. And we're here today for the tribute of uh, our Revolutionary War patriot, uh, Stephen Austin. And without his bravery, as, as a lot of everybody else has said, many of us wouldn't be here today. Uh, it's an awesome act of courage alone to have been part of uh, the Revolutionary War effort, but uh, it's also the impact he had on everybody that settled in this area. Uh, it's very important. So there are many obstacles uh, that he had to overcome to do this, but uh, he did. And now I'm going to uh, get these posters and uh, talk a little bit about uh, his ancestors <coughs> and where he lived. And Connie Austin, uh, I don't know if everybody can see this, but you can't, uh, as it is right now, uh, Connie Austin uh, provided these, and we can talk about them a little bit later. But I'll hold these up a little bit, but uh, just uh, the ancestors, where Stephen come from. Uh, his dad was John Jr. and uh, was married to Mary McBee. Uh, Mary, Mary McBee. We don't know much about John Jr., but we do know a quite a bit about uh, John Sr. Uh, John Sr. Uh, came, uh, was born in around 1701 in England, Kent, England, and uh, he was married to a Sapani Indian. And uh, uh, the thing about it, uh, when uh, when Stephen uh, or when uh, John Sr. came came to America, uh, King George II had uh, deemed him 400 acres. And he later acquired uh, about a thousand acres uh, while he was here. So John Sr. had a big impact. Uh, a few stories about uh, John Sr. Uh, he uh, he and a, uh, another friend and a lady, another Indian from the Susquehanna tribe in Virginia, uh, traveled. Uh, to the North Carolina and South Carolina border, and they helped make a treaty, a uh, peace treaty. So he was involved in treaties. The Saponi, the Saponi Indians uh, owned about half of Virginia at one time. They were very powerful. They were friendly to white, white folks. And uh, that's a little bit about John Sr. Uh, Stephen uh, had seven sons, or John Jr. had seven sons, and Stephen was in the middle. He was the middle son. And one of, the, one of his sons that uh, is important to our area is Sanders. And, uh, I'll talk a little bit about him a little bit later. But, uh, that's a little bit about uh, the genealogy. And another thing I want to show you, uh, talk to you a little bit about, about is, uh, is where he lived, where he lived uh, during his life. And uh, in Virginia, uh, Grayson County, Virginia, along the New, uh, the New River is where he lived most of his life. In Virginia, and that's part of Virginia. Uh, he owned property in uh, Wild and uh, uh, in two counties there in North Virginia. He was born in Pennsylvania, uh, Virginia, and at the age of two, his family moved to Grayson County. And that's a little bit about uh, his. Uh, his uh, his time in Virginia. He paid taxes in Montgomery uh, County, Virginia. That's there, and he paid taxes in Wiley uh, County, uh, Virginia. And that's there. And then in North Carolina, some things about uh, in North Carolina. Uh, at the age of 21, he was born uh, in in 1755, and at the age of, of 20. Uh, he married, uh, he, uh, he married, uh, I forget his wife, but I'll, I'll take this <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, when I get to my notes, but in 1776, 
Uh, he enlisted at the age of 21 uh, in the American, American Army uh, uh, and uh, fought in the Revolutionary War. Uh, he lived in uh, Burke County, North Carolina for, in 1787. He fought in four battles in the Revolutionary War. The Battle of Camden, North Carolina in uh, 1780 and the Battle of Guilford Courthouse in North Carolina in uh, 1781. And then the most famous battle was the Battle of Cowpens uh, in South Carolina. Famous battle, I'll talk a little bit more about it. And then the Battle of Hanging Rock uh, in 1780 uh, uh, in South Carolina there. That's some of, the, some of the things he did and some of the places he lived uh, in there. And then in Tennessee, I'm going to show you a map of Tennessee and just talk a little bit about that. 